Hi, Dr. Daniel Yen here at the Center for Musculoskeletal Function in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and today we're going to review dance injuries and common dance injuries that I see with my patients. Because of the many repetitions of landing and jumping and the many different positions that a dancer goes through, the area of concern is from the lower back to the, to the lower extremity here. Um, so we can go into first position, second position, third, fourth, fifth, semi-point, and point. And you can see we can put a lot of stress and strain in the toes, the foot, the ankle, the knees, the hips, and the lower back. For dance injuries, we start with a thorough history to discover the why, what, where, when, and how of your pain. By assessing dance-specific movements and movements related to your injury, we can zero in and prioritize treatment and give you ways to help prevent injury in the future. After testing and assessing your injury and dance-specific movements, we treat areas of dysfunction using hands-on treatment or instrument-assisted treatment to make real changes in how you move and function. This can be supported with therapeutic exercise, and in this fashion, we can overcome your pain. Reassessing after treatment lets us know a change has been made. Let's try the five on the left, because I think you're getting a little more range on the left. Yes. Finally, understanding your pain and injury can help you recover faster. For prevention, aim to stay aware of and practice correct technique. Wear properly fitting shoes and clothing. Stay hydrated. Don't just dance through pain, get help. Know your body's limits and don't push too hard too soon. Always implement a proper warm up and cool down. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.